Oh, yeah. These batteries and these charging stations. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I just want to make sure the automotive industry understands that <laughs> there's no possible way that you allow for a vehicle that goes to 100 to 150 miles. Right. <laughs> you want to allow some sort of magnetic system in the inner cities. Yes. <laughs> Similar to the trolley car or one of these um, <laughs> electric buses or whatever. <laughs> you ever seen a magnet before? Oh, yes. <laughs> I love magnets. No, I really do. Uh, like I would. I would cuddle one of them while sleeping. You're so good. <laughs> a magnet, depending upon the direction of the electricity, will cause it to move uh, forward or backward. Yes. It will attract itself or repel itself. Yes. Now, what you can do, you can put little, they're kind of like the shocks on your car that um, absorb the bumps. Yes. <laughs> you can put a shock outside of the tires that have magnets on the bottom of them. <laughs> And depending on the direction of the actual electricity going through the copper, yeah, that's the direction your vehicle will go. You know, a magnet this size can support maybe 100,000 pounds. Yes. Depending upon the amount of electricity going through it. Yes. Yes. And you can make them out of used fire hydrants. <laughs> Most fire hydrants are made out of cast iron. <laughs> I wanted all the fire hydrants. I thought, you know, having two water systems where one is the actual emergency services, right, and the other is the water supply of the citizens, and <laughs> you know how often there's a fire in your neighborhood. <laughs> it happens almost every day. They're running out there. They're turning the hydrant on. They're t well, what if you put the hydrant system, yes, in the actual water supply of the residence, and every time there was a fire, you increase the actual water pressure of the water supply so as to fuel, yes, the actual hoses that are being used to put the fire out. This whole thought of having a hydrant system, yeah. There's an immense amount of water, billions of gallons of water throughout this nation in the hydrant system, just waiting for a fire to happen. <laughs>